is if you're taking an antidepressant or an anti-anxiety medication, keep taking it. Let me share with you my story, my personal story. I had an instance uh, back in 2001. I can tell you the exact day, September 6th. It was a Thursday. You can look it up. And it just hit me like a, a wall. I hit a wall. And the wall was depression. I went through severe depression. Things weren't really gelling business-wise. I my my well-being is tied to my practice. I had opened three practices. We just expanded too fast. With you know, didn't have the capital. Had some cases that I won't get into, um, and on this, but it, it wasn't good. And I I went into the and then September 11th happened five days later. So I just went down, 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 down. And I kept going down until February of 2002. February 2002, I went out to the mall, Fox River Mall in Appleton, Wisconsin, and I was going to buy a gun, stick it in my mouth, and blow my brains out in my truck. I mean, for, for the longest time, I could not talk about this. Years. Now I can. I'd get all emotional, and, and I'll tell you why, because I did buy the gun, and I, I don't own a gun. I've never owned a gun. I bought a handgun, bought the ammunition, and I, I, it was just it was February, so it was cold, metal, and um, heavy, heavier than I thought. And so I'm walking out to my truck to blow my brains out, and I have this vision of my son, Gents. We have five kids. At that time we had four. This was February 2002. And um, holy moly. Mm. Yeah, I had this vision of Gents and how it would devastate him. I, I, I believe in God. I thought God gave me that vision so I wouldn't blow my brains out. And then I saw how it would help my uh, affect my other kids, I should say. Joe and Kate and Mary and then my wife, and what it would do to them. It would have devastated them. So, yeah, it's, I've been there. So I immediately had that vision, went home, or went to my office, called for help. I called um, a counselor who we knew from our daughter's friend, and he got me help and in to see somebody right away. I was on medication, and so don't get off your medication. I wasn't sleeping, it was bad. But don't get off your meds, and, and then you've got to heal yourself naturally while you're on the meds. So what I didn't know then, what I know now, is there is a gut-brain connection. Your gut and brain are connected. And if there's inflammation in your gut, there's inflammation in your brain. There's more serotonin, the happy neurotransmitter, there's more serotonin in your gut than there is in your brain. The uh, dopamine, there's actually findings now, there's more dopamine. That's, serotonin is your happy neurotransmitter. S dopamine is your satisfaction. Are you satisfied with life, your life? That's that neurotransmitter. And there's more dopamine in your gut. And I had had parasites. I didn't know this till about 2008. I finally run a blood test on myself. My eosinophils are off the charts. Eosinophils uh, are white blood cells, really measures parasites, can measure allergies, but mainly parasites. My eosinophil count was 26.4. That means nothing to you unless you know the normal is zero to three. So I was off the charts. And part of it was because I used to eat a lot of sushi. And the minute I stopped eating sushi, it went from 26.4 down to 8. And then I took some specific nutrition for it. Right now, I recommend for parasites something called Aloferox. When I took Aloferox, it's a great product. You can email me. I'll give you my email uh, later. But it, I'll, I'll have a video on it down the road, too. It, just a great product, great for your liver, great for parasites. But... I had so many parasites that I could just take one every other day or every third day because I would have terrible abdominal pain. Terrible abdominal pain. 
and then um, clear that. I've also done genetic testing. I found that I have a GAD gene defect. The GAD gene converts glutamate, which is a neurotransmitter, a brain chemical, to GABA, excitatory to inhibitory. This is for people that can't turn their brain off. Their, their brain is just wound up. Uh, I also have what's called the MAOA, uh, genetic defect. That has to do with serotonin and MAOB. Genetic defect has to do with um, dopamine. So I was a prime candidate genetically. Plus I have MTHFR, I have other SNPs they're called, um, genetic defects, mutations, I don't care what you call them. But I've learned how to supplement. Um, I also have what's called a COMT, genetic defect that has to do with the dopamine regulation. So, and clearing dopamine and norepinephrine and epinephrine. So, yeah, the, you've got to get to the cause. The meds are going to keep you alive. They're going to keep you around. And unfortunately, the side effect to a lot of meds is, is, is further depression. That wasn't the case for me. There is a genetic test that you can run that your genes, and it will tell you which meds will work best for you. And if you want to shoot me an email, I can get you that information. Um, but it's through uh, genomics testing. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, you've got to heal what's causing the depression in the first place. I think had I been healthier, had I not had parasites, had my brain and body, and I was addressing my, my um, genetic mutations and supplementing and eating right and exercising, exercise increases frequency of firing a brain. So had I been doing those things, the problem is people who are depressed don't feel like exercising. But had I been doing those things, I feel, because I've been under even more stressful situations since that time, no desire to put a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger. So, you know, you're talking to someone who has personal experience with it. And the key is it has to be individualized. This is why we do complete blood work. This is why we do... Uh, the genetic testing, uh, this is why we check the patient very thoroughly. So you have to test. In all my videos that you'll see, it's you've got to run the tests. You can't guess. I mean, I'm, I'm batting a thousand helping people with anxiety and depression, and the reason is I'm thorough. It's like uncovering uh, a puzzle. It's detective work. Uh, probably because I've been through it myself, I know what to look for. So, yeah, um, we have a, a, a number of uh, Amish patients. They don't like taking meds. I've helped a number of them with depression. And so it's, it's, it's an individualized approach. So you need to get tested. Yes, there are some supplements that can help you. But I would highly recommend getting tested first to get to the cause of the issue. I hope that makes sense. So if you'd like any more information, here's my email, mljohnson at askdrjohnson.com. That's mljohnson at askdrjohnson.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube video at Dr. Michael Johnson and the Optimal Health Stem Cell and Wellness Institute. I am a YouTuber. I do and am vlogging. We're going to put out a video every day. And that's why I'm here, to help you. Um, I'm, right now, as I'm doing this, my thyroid video has almost 800,000 views. And I get emails all the time, but I will answer your emails, so please allow 24 to 48 hours. Uh, on Facebook, we're the same. Dr. Michael Johnson, board-certified chiropractic neurologist and the Optimal Health Stem Cell and Wellness Institute. I'm Dr. Michael Johnson. Don't forget, live from your heart. Let your heart dictate all of your actions and words. That's what that means. And uh, take care, and I'll see you on the next video.